Welcome back to Switcher Studio, and I want to talk about one of the... Ah. We're not in the studio today, we're out in the field. And not just any field, the game field, because it's sports season. Football is well underway, basketball is just starting up, and spring baseball is just right around the corner. Because sports has no off season. From professional to college to high school to club, sports in any form has unique entertainment and excitement. And there's an audience out there itching to watch. What's that? You want to get on the game? You want to live stream your own sports to your entire fan base? Too bad, because you don't have the high-end cameras, or the soundboard, or the broadcasting system, or the hundreds of employees, or the silly little animations that are required for a big-time broadcast. Just kidding. Don't think that big-time production look is reserved for ESPN and the big-time broadcasters. Oh no, you too can live stream your own sports with the same professional polish as the pros. And if you have a few iPhones or iPads laying around, you have everything you need. Hike! So let's talk about the difference between a big TV broadcast and a backyard ping pong game, which is what we're doing right now. For me, what comes to mind are three main things, scoreboard graphics, multiple camera angles, and commentary. Your first thought might be, why well, don't I have any of that? I might have one camera, but multiple? And how would I ever connect them for a broadcast? And I'm not a graphics person. I don't even know how to use Photoshop. We don't need to worry about any of that because we're recreating the big broadcast look with just a few iPhones and iPads and the Switcher Studio iOS app. Birds, fire trucks, leaf blower. Okay, there is every noise in the world right now, so I'm gonna go inside and finish this monologue. Think back to the last game you watched on TV. Now try to count the number of camera angles you saw during the broadcast. There are a lot. The camera operators are constantly zooming in and out and focusing on something else, creating the feeling of 360 coverage around the event. So what we're gonna do is open up Switcher Studio on the iPad, then grab three iPhones to use as cameras. We'll position one camera facing the match as our main camera, one on a handheld gimbal to be our roaming camera and get all sorts of different angles, and one facing back at me, the announcer. Once we've found our angles, just tap the name of the device and it'll appear automatically in the sources window. Now from the main switcher device, I can control each camera's settings, as well as zoom in and out for close-up or ultra-wide shots, all seamlessly through the iPad. Quick note that you can run the exact same broadcast from just an iPhone if you don't have an iPad at your disposal. iPads are just particularly good for running Switcher Studio Live events thanks to the big screen and user interface. Now let's talk commentary, which also means talking audio. No sports broadcast is complete without a play-by-play -play commentator, and they're often accompanied by a color commentator to help keep the conversation going. This really depends on the amount of people you have at your aid, but it can be as bare bones as you producing and commentating yourself. If you are on your own, you could use voice mode in Switcher Studio to enable some audio processing features that help clean up the main Switcher device's built-in mic. This isn't a perfect solution, but it definitely gets the job done. The better solution is to use an audio interface like a Zoom recorder or Rodecaster. Just run whatever microphones you want into the interface, then connect the interface to your main switcher. The interface will automatically become your broadcast audio source, and you can make fine-tuned audio adjustments through the audio interface device. Now you can use whatever mics you want, and even hide microphones on players or around the game to get unique immersive audio sources. What ties everything together and really separates a professional broadcast from a Joe Schmo are graphics. Animations, scoreboards, timers, this is how you keep viewers engaged, up to date, and coming back to your broadcast for more. Switcher Studio is essential here, because the app has lots of pre-made graphics and scoreboards that are fully customizable for team branding and names, and they look and run great. And Switcher Studio just released its 8.5 update, which makes scoreboards even more customizable and adds two brand new sections of graphics, animated text and timers. Switcher has four scoreboard templates, classic, horizontal, the new horizontal inline, and baseball, which has baseball specific controls for innings, outs, strikes, balls, and runners. We'll go with horizontal inline for this broadcast, then hit edit properties. Now we have all sorts of controls to create the exact scoreboard we need for our sport. I can import each team's logo, add their name and even use team colors in the text, and set a background image that could either be the logo or anything else that's part of the team's branding. We can also adjust the background and text color of the score boxes themselves. A new 8.5 feature also lets you add a sponsor image, which is a great incentive to attract sponsors to monetize your broadcast or even advertise yourself. From there, you can make fine-tuned adjustments to font and size, as well as overall scoreboard width, height, and more. And if you aren't satisfied with all these customization options, you could even import your own custom background image and remove all other backgrounds. The options are truly endless. There are even more ways to create the ultimate sports broadcast for your viewers. The new animated text feature lets you create a ticker at the bottom of the screen where you can add news, score updates, or any other text you want. The ticker can either play once or loop or bounce from side to side depending on the information and how you want to get your viewers' attention. 
The other big addition to Switcher's sports broadcasting arsenal is timers. There's several different timers available, including overlays or full screen graphics, and can include a progress bar as an additional reference for how much time is left in the game. You can set the timer to any minute and second point between 0 and 5959, and the timer starts as soon as you select it as a source in the sources menu. And if there's a timeout or play stops, you can edit the timer's properties on the fly to represent a new time once play resumes. And suddenly, our backyard ping pong game looks like it could air on TV today. Or maybe if we find a better setting. As you can see, professional looking broadcasts aren't just for the big time broadcasters. They're for you and your fan base and any sport you can think of. If you have some iPhones or iPads laying around, then Switcher Studio is all you need to take your sports live stream to the next level. Scoreboards, graphics, timers, there's all sorts of ways to customize your fan base's viewing experience. Switcher Studio has direct integrations with Facebook, YouTube, and other live streaming platforms, and even lets you embed live streams on your own website, so you can get your broadcast out to wherever your audience is. Hit the link in the description to learn more about how you can level up your sports broadcast, and visit switcherstudio.com pricing to subscribe to Switcher Studio and see which plan is right for you. Be sure to follow us on social and subscribe to the channel for more videos on video. Thanks for watching, but I gotta get back to the game. All right, who's serving it?